had that kind of support before you joined the team? Did you know they had a reputation this way? Uh, not, 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 not necessarily. I, I have family that that, is, that does live out here in New Orleans, but I didn't know how how, how diehard and deep the Saints fans can get. And it's just it's an amazing experience. It's humbling, you know, to us as an organization, us as a team. Um, so just feed off their energy, and they do the same with us. So, um, it's you know, New Orleans Saints fans here are like family to us. And did you, when you stopped, did you just take some photos, you sign things or anything? No, not really. I just, you know, rolled my window down and, you know, chanted who that with, with the rest of the fans as well. And, you know, I was able to spread my love by shaking hands and um, just being able to see the smile on their face definitely brought a smile on mine. Yeah, Kurt said, Kurt Coleman said, he's worried he's going to hit somebody. Yeah. Or you know, like he, yeah, he it, it does get pretty tight. You know, the mm -hmm. fans are just so excited that, you know, we, we fought so hard and, um, to come out with a victory and them to be there by our side as we, we drive off coming from the airport. Um, yeah, it did really get a little tight, but, mm -hmm. you know, they, they gave us the respect to, you know, give us a little leniency to make sure we got through safe and made, made sure we didn't hit anybody, but right. at the same time, they spread their love and we did the same. Uh, last thing, the uh, you all had some people out late at night yeah. before, is that what I heard? Like one of the earlier games, they were out. Yeah, yeah we, we came back around 2 in the morning or 1 o'clock in the morning, and we still had fans lined up. It just goes to show how hard or uh, diehard they are for us, and, you know, they have our back no matter what what's, what the circumstances, what the outcome is. Um, You know, we have fans that travel all over it. Sometimes, like, for instance, when we were at the Bengals, I felt like we had more Saints fans than Bengals fans. So it's just amazing to see that um, it gives us that, that little that little cheer and that little uh, upside to, you know, to keep going. So. Yeah, and that's cool, too, that, like, because, I mean, you just got activated. Yes. For this past game. Yes, sir. And you've got a sign out there already for yeah. You, you know. It's just amazing to see that, you know, even though I was on practice squad and a player who didn't really have a name for himself, that there are fans out there that, that do care about me, I do have my, my back and my side, people I don't even know about. So it's just amazing, humbling ex uh, experience and, and things to look forward to. How was uh, the reaction from friends and family this past week? I mean, I was uh, it's, it's been amazing, but it's just it's something that was expected. Everyone knew the type of player I am. I'm, I'm very humble, and, you know, when my time is called, I'm going to go out and perform the way I've always played. Um, just, and I think I went out and did exactly what they, they knew I was capable of doing. What's it like to be in this offense the way it's playing right now? To yeah. be able to step right into this. It's amazing. It's just amazing to see that every week we're, we're able to come out with something new. Um, we, we throw teams off every single week. We have so many different weapons all over the field that it's just tough to stop this offense. And, you know, with, with Drew Brees being the quarterback, I mean, it's just unstoppable. So um, I think it's going to be tough for every, any team to face, but we're just going to continue to, to work on the things that we have to and focus on each week um, as, as this one is the Eagles' most important. So.